guys, it's Haig here. This video, I'm going to go over a program called C Cleaner. C Cleaner can help a computer that's really slow and bogged down with temporary files that are slowing your Windows performance down. This program is a fantastic utility and it's free to download and it's well worth getting on every Windows computer that you have. It will absolutely help your system's performance and and uh, it's free, so why not get it something that's going to help your computers and speed it up? And it's a very fantastic program. It, what this uh, program does is it cleans out your temporary junk files that are in your Windows uh, installation that slow your computer down. These are temp files that just accumulate in the background, like after time and stuff. And you want to get rid of these files because if you don't, it slows the computer down and its performance down over time. This program does this more than clean up temp files. It can actually fix registry related issues with the system for free. And it can also be used to actually uninstall programs. And it can also be used to get rid of programs that start automatically when you boot your computer that slow the performance down of Windows. It also can be used to to be configured so it will automatically perform cleaning operations without you having to use the application. You can configure it to automatically run cleaning operations in the background of the computer so you don't have to use this program and you can just sit back and it will do the work for you. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to get this fantastic C cleaning program for free and I'm going to show you how to use it. This video is going to be intended for the most basic users that don't know how to install a program on their computer or they don't know how to use a software like CCleaner. So for you advanced users out there, this video may be lame for you, but for the basic people that are on this planet that need to know this, I'm going to make this video very, very detailed and, ma and make it simple for them to understand. All right, so let's go and get the program. All right, to do this, we're going to open up our browser. Now, it doesn't matter what browser you're opening up, if you're using Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, it doesn't matter. You want to do a search for CCleaner. Once you do a search for CCleaner, you're going to see the link here that says CCleaner, PC Optimization, and Cleaning, free download. Click on that, and that's going to take you to their website here. And what, what you're going to do is you're going to find this Downloads button, and you're going to click on that. And here, we're interested in the free version of CCleaner. So you would go down and you would look for the under the free version and click download. Now, I'm not going to get into the features of the professional version. I quite frankly don't use it. But once you click the download thing, it's going to prompt you with this box. And you want to save it to a location on your computer where you're going to actually remember it. So I would recommend you choose your desktop. That way, it will be the setup file will be installed right to the desktop. Click the Save button. And what that will do is that will download the file. Now it downloads real quick. It should be downloaded in one second. It's a small file. And you can see down at the bottom here, I've already got it installed. I mean, downloaded. So I'm going to exit the browser. And I'm going to locate that icon, that C setup icon on my desktop right here. And I'm going to double click that and that's going to open it. I'm going to get a security warning. And it's going to ask me to run the file. Just click on the run button. And that's going to run the actual installation for CCleaner. Next, I'm going to choose my language, which is down here. You can click the drop down menu and you can ch choose the language that you want. Once you choose your language, you can click next. And here you have the option to create a desktop shortcut, add a st start menu shortcut, add a run cleaning option to the recycle and bin context menu, and automatically check for updates to CCleaner and scan for cookies. So I would recommend you personally leave all these options checked and click install and that's going to install the CCleaner program and it takes like literally a second to install because it's super fast and light and once it's done it's going to say it's finished the installation on your computer and then you're going to click finished and what that's going to do is it's going to briefly pump, pull up Internet Explorer so, and it's just going to open up their website and uh, it'll offer you to it will, it will try to get you to buy it, but you don't need to get the professional version. Just exit the, brow the Internet Explorer browser up, and you're going to see CCleaner now on your computer. Now, here's how you use this program. First, let's maximize this so we're on full screen here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start and run a clean. To do that, we're going to come down to the, to, the, to the bottom right corner and click on Run Cleaner. And it's going to say this process will 
permanently delete files off your system. That's all right. We want to get rid of the junk files that are slowing our computer down. So click OK. And that's going to run a clean. And it's going to go real fast if you don't have many junk files. But if it takes a long time to run this scan, it just means you have a lot of temporary files on your computer. So just wait for the scan to complete. It could take a long time or it could be really fast. It doesn't matter. Once it's done the scan, it's going to go ahead and re move those temporary junk files off the computer. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scan our registry for issues. All right. And now to do that, we're going to click on the registry button right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us an option down here to scan for issues. Click the scans for issues and that's going to go ahead and scan your Windows registry for issues. Windows uh, registry issues actually slow your computer down. It's only found one registry issue, but it doesn't matter. You may find that it's found a whole bunch of re registry issues. Don't panic. Just click the fix selected issues button. And it'll ask you if you want to make backups to your registry. I would recommend you make backups to your registry whenever you edit the registry. So I'm going to click yes. And I'm just going to make sure I know where I'm going to save this file to. So I'm going to save it to a place that I know and then I'm just going to click save and that's going to go ahead and back up your registry. Now that you've done that you can click the fix issue button or to fix all selected issue buttons if this has found more than just the one registry issue. So I'm going to go ahead and click fix issue and that will fix the registry issues with the computer. And now that you've done that we're going to take a look at the tools section. You're going to click the tools section and it's going to give you a list of programs that are on your computer. You can take a look at this list of programs and if you see anything in here that you do not want to have on your computer anymore, you can use this and uninstall it. So I'm just going to see if there's anything I can demonstrate to uninstall, but I don't think I have anything right really. I'll just demonstrate the weather network app here. So what you would do is you'll make sure you click on that to highlight it and then over here you would click the uninstall button. And what that will do is it will actually bring up the uninstaller and you would just basically uninstall that application. Alright, so once the application is uninstalled, it's uninstalled. Alright, now you can do this for whatever application you want. And uh, that will actually help get rid of the programs you no longer need on there. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to head over to the startup bot button. And in here you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, files. And all of these things are what runs automatically when Windows starts. It's actually safe to go in and actually... Dis click on disable to these by disabling all of these click disable select all of these and click disable you really don't need to have any programs other than your antivirus software running when windows starts automatically it will slowly your actual computer's performance down so you can go in and you can actually select anything you don't want to run when windows starts by clicking on it and then using this disabled option button right here but it's grayed out since i've disabled these all right, once they're disabled, you can then go over to the options menu. And in here, we're going to tell this program to automatically run a clean for your computer when you boot it up every time behind the background. So you don't have to come in here. You don't have to run the registry clean. You won't have to run the cleaner. It will automatically do this for you. Now to do this, we're going to, once you click on options, you're going to click advanced. And in here, you're going to look for a checkbox and it's going to say, closed program after cleaning. Make sure you have that checked. Make sure you have the minimize to system tray option checked. Once you have that checked, you're going to go up to where it says sentence at the top. And you're going to see a box here that says run cleaner when the computer starts. Check that box. And now what you've done is you basically told the cleaning application to automatically execute a cleaning session by itself when you boot the computer up in the background without pop popping up the CCleaner program. It will run right here in your task tray and it will run a clean for you when you boot your computer up. You don't even have to now come in here, click on run cleaner. It will do this all for you now. So basically exit the cleaning note and now you can reboot the computer and it will automatically clean the computer every time you boot into Windows. Using CCleaner will actually help your computer's performance in a very big way. I hope it helps and I hope you remember to comment, write, and subscribe to my video. Thanks for watching this and uh, have a good day.